How does one move through an argument after it happens? It's so interesting when I watch nature. Right? When you see a storm, powerful storm come through, right? There's a, usually some kind of buildup. Every once in a while it comes on quick, but usually there's some sort of buildup. The storm rolls in and it's powerful and there's thunder and there's lightning and there's rain and maybe hail and maybe tornadoes or wind or whatever it is, depending upon where you live. And once the storm passes, there's calm. Sometimes some debris in the wake, sometimes not. How does this relate to your relationship and how you get over an argument? Stay tuned to find out after the showreel. <laughs> you can't feel too much. <laughs> Did you know that animals, when they escape a predator, will actually shake off their fight-flight reaction? In other words, when a deer almost gets captured by a bear or by a predator, once it knows it's safe, it will actually go through a series of shaking motions and completely discharge the leftover residual from its nervous system. Now, as humans, we don't do that. We like to hang on to things. Say, well, he did this or she did that. And here's what should have happened instead. Right? It's like we hang on to the storm. We try to capture the energy and throw it back whenever we can. How dare. Remember the time that you did this? Or we use it to justify turning down sex, turning down intimacy, not feeling connected, not giving, not being patient, whatever it is for us. Imagine now instead that just like the animal discharges and just like the storm passes, we allowed those moments of arguments to be forgiven. We sit back and we look within ourselves on what was not so healthy for us, what triggered us, where's our part in it, and how can we move through that? How can we shift that? What needs healing within inside of us so we're not triggered by our partner? And if our partner did something wrong, right, in some way, how do we communicate that so it's in a healthy way so we can have something better, so we can co-create something more powerful? Because you don't want the storm of arguments to last forever, do you? And if arguments are happening over and over, maybe you need to look at the relationship and see, is this actually the healthy relationship? Is this the way I want to live my life? People that grew up in storms all the time are used to that. It feels very, very safe. So you may choose to be in a storm situation when really storms aren't meant to last forever. You are meant to heal, to forgive, to move through both for yourself and for your partner and vice versa. So just like the deer who shakes it off when they run off a predator, allow yourself to do that for your own self, for your own health. Because hanging on to anger, envy, jealousy, um, hatred, and throwing it back out in people's faces or using it to justify what else we're doing in our life, that's only damaging us maybe our children, maybe our friends and family around us. But if I'm sitting here stewing over something that somebody else did, that's creating disease in my body, not in theirs. So do yourself a favor. Allow that storm to pass. And what are some ways you can do that? Talk to a therapist. Do some emotional freedom techniques or tapping. I've got a lot of videos on that on my other channel. Talk to a friend, journal, write, be active, exercise, move, do something that allows that to discharge. Go scream, throw eggs at a tree. Like literally you can do anything at all to move, to vocalize, to let that go from your system. And then find a place where you can come back to calm and forgiveness for yourself. So how do you move through the storm? How do you release that anger? So many ways. But imagine now that you let it go and you can be peaceful and calm. Doesn't mean you have to be weak. It does not mean you have to let go of your boundaries. All that it means is that you can choose your boundaries. You can make choices from calm, clarity, strength, and power. 
instead of anger, fear, worry, self-deprivation. That I said that word wrong. You know what I mean. And this idea applies to any chaos, by the way, not just your anger. So remember that you are love. You are loving and you are lovable. You deserve to let go of the chaos. Let go of the anger. Let go of the challenge, the storm. Let it pass by. Watch my other videos for more tips and I'll see you next time.